Hey everyone, it's Veronica. <laughs> everyone. There's no everyone. I'm pretty sure no one is watching this right now. <laughs> the internet crashed a few days ago. Well, crashed isn't the right word, but uh, it would just take too long to explain. So just know that the internet doesn't work the way it used to. I had to log into a VPN, throw a proxy, and hack some things to get into the network. And in doing so, I found this repeating equation in a line of code. It's everywhere. It's on every site over and over and over. And it just doesn't, it, it makes no sense. Um, in other news, Mindy still hasn't come home yet since she left a few days ago. I tried calling her, but phones still don't work. They probably never will. I thought about going to Tyler's house, but it's just, it's not safe out there on the streets. That jackass better have been there and he better be looking out for her. But I mean, let's be real. <laughs> if anybody is crazy enough to survive out there, it's Mindy. <laughs> You know, I'm starting to think that this equation has something to do with the pseudo-apocalypse. I can't trace its origins, and it seems to have appeared just before the explosion started, but when they happened, it was everywhere. You know what Mindy would say? It's Skynet. She hasn't even seen the Terminator movies. She says Arnold Schwarzenegger scares her. Now that I think of it, the place where the explosions happened was in the tech hub of the city. We're talking massive servers and technology. Maybe, maybe instead of random bombings, they could have been targeted attacks. That would explain why phones don't work and technology just isn't the way it used to be. Maybe it is Skynet. Whoa, did I just say it's Skynet? <sighs> My dad would know what this means. He taught me everything I know about hacking. I did out hack him for the first time last year though. That's actually a pretty funny story. So every year we have this hack off to see who could find the juiciest bit of information. You know, I hacked into the FBI database, totally on accident, um, found some pretty interesting info on my Uncle George, but um, two hours later the FBI was knocking on our door and ended up interrogating us for an hour. Good thing my dad has some friends at the NSA who could smooth things over. Me and my dad thought it was so funny, but my poor mom, she was not amused. Hey, at least I got some interesting information on Uncle George. <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> the reason that I'm posting this is I'm hoping somebody out there can help me crack this code. Maybe one of my professors is seeing this and can help me out. Too bad Walter Bishop is fictional. This is some fringe shit he could figure out. Hey, maybe this isn't Skynet. Maybe this is cyber terrorism, like in that movie, The Net. Does that make me Sandra Bullock? Anyway, if you, if you see this symbol, do not engage with it. Gatekeeper may be after you. Okay, well, that's enough conspiracy theorizing for the day. If anybody wants to contact me, I will be at this IP address. I'm going to go offline for a few hours to conserve energy, but I will be back in a while. <sighs> I should probably brush up on my Skynet knowledge. Mindy will be all over that if she comes back. Anyways, my Sarah Connor Chronicle DVDs must be around here somewhere. Beware of robots. This is Veronica signing off.